What's going on guys? Goofy Rexy here. Hope everybody's doing well. And wanted to do a quick video um testing out the Dead Sea team here in Alliance War. Now, yes, they are not a war team, um, but being that we do have Archangel now, I want to kind of test them out against some of the war meta teams here. Now, obviously, we're gonna try them against Gamma. We're not gonna try them against even Weapon X or Dormhole. Like we're not they're not gonna beat those teams, right? But some of these other teams could be interesting, like Young Avengers. We're even gonna try out Underworld. Hero as Guardians. We're going to test out a couple of these meta teams here and see how the Dead Sea teams performs against them. Now, we're going to be going with more punch acrosses. We're going to be we're going to be doing this in the um in the Alliance practice Alliance War practice mode here. We're going to go up against the this Young Avengers team first. And we're going to be trying more punch acrosses because let's keep it real. Like my Archangel is 3 yellow, level 75, gear tier 14. Like until he's properly built up, we're not gonna try the, any sort of major punch ups here. So let's try some punch acrosses uh, with this team right now. Big Squirrel Girl, not so big. Um, K Bishop or Echo and decent size Miss Marvel, but let's see how this goes because Squirrel Girl definitely will pose a problem, right? So let's see um, kind of how we how things work out here going into this matchup. Now the goal here is that we're gonna ch we know that Squirrel Girl's gonna clear some buffs right in the beginning, but we're still gonna try to land the blind with Magneto, and then we want to try to ability block Echo so she doesn't throw up her evade. So let's see how this goes here. All right, so we're gonna t we're gonna from now just like target Squirrel Girl. We get the blinds out. We evade sort of kind of the, the retaliation from Echo, right? Okay, she does her special. We expected that, no problem. Oh, are we gonna lose Archangel here? Oh. Okay, so here we're gonna ability block Echo, right? Because we don't want her to throw up the evades on the team. And then we're going to focus down on Squirrel Girl. Let's get some health back to to the rest of the team. We're going to we're going to take that on. I'm OK with dropping her into the red because I know I have Psylocke and she can clear buffs, right? So I'm kind of depending on that right now. Smith Marv was essentially about to kill herself. All right, there we go with Psylocke. I may want to throw this blind on her. Uh, it's unavoidable. It doesn't matter. Let's throw the, let's throw the blind on her then. Or is there a is there retaliation? Ooh, offense down. We just lost Archangel. That is not good. Maybe we should have maybe we should have threw the blind on Squirrel Girl, huh? <laughs> Holy crap. We did get the revive though. So thank you, Dark Beast. Much 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 obliged, my friend. I do appreciate it. Love you. Love you, mean it. Okay, bye bye Echo. We're gonna get we're gonna get some blinds here. Bye bye Squirrel Girl. Um, essentially almost bye bye Miss Marvel. Um, is the ult unavoidable? No, can't be counterattack. So we're gonna we're gonna take on another blind here again from Kate Bishop. But this is unavoidable. And that just clear the buffs. All right, cool. Well, hey, listen. They did pretty good here, right? They did pretty good. Now, granted, punch across. Maybe in a punch up, it probably doesn't work out the same way, but I think this is still a pretty decent, impressive showing. Now we're gonna go up against Heroize Guardians and we're gonna check out that matchup. And then we're gonna see how they do there. I think if we had the bigger Archangel, I think we actually might've been able to get through the, we might've been able to get through maybe like a, another 100K team, um, because I think that his damage carries a little bit more um, in that sort of particular matchup, but pretty good. Pretty good, right? So let's try a hero as guardian team. Now this is a little bit of a smaller hero as guardian team. So maybe we'll try to see if we can fish around and find a bigger one. This is a big Thor, but a smaller mighty Thor and a smaller. Okay, let's look at the other character. Okay, mighty Thor here. It's a smaller Thor though. All right, we're, we're gonna go with the one that has the bigger Thor, uh, because that poses a problem. 222k. Let's go with that one. It's still a small team. All right, hold on, let's pause. Let me find a bigger team for you guys and then we'll try that matchup. All right, so I think we found one that's a little bit more even matched in terms of just like the numbers. It's gonna look a little bit smaller here on this screen though, obviously because you're not getting the war buffs, but um, Thor is actually a little bit bigger than this. Mighty Thor, I think in war, let's jump out. Yeah, Thor's 254, Valkyrie's 173, Mighty Thor's 158. Uh, so pretty decent size hero as Guardian team. So let's see how 
our Dead Sea team fares against this. And then after this, guys, we're going to try the Dead the Underworld team. Uh, we're going to see how that goes because I'm curious to see. I haven't tried it yet. I want to see whether or not the blind from Magneto on turn one actually has a little bit of an impact on the matchup. I'm going to check it out and, and, uh, and, we'll, let, and we'll, we'll make our assessment from that, right? All right, so boom. So doing the ultimate here doesn't make any sense because it's they're not going to get blinded anyways. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is actually just let's just basic into into Thor. Um, and then go from there. Give offense up to the team. Let's continue to hit Thor. This is the one thing I would say, though, about this is that there's just so many adjacent hits that it's really annoying. <laughs> it's so many adjacent hits, guys. Like, gosh. Could you guys stop adjacently hitting people, you know? Because it is just it's just feeding Thor. All right, and in here we're going to get some buffs now. The team's going to get their buffs, right? Uh, because Thor just died. Okay, so not great by any means. We're actually going to start diving into. We can't clear any of the buffs here. Uh, all right, let's do let's do this. It's just basic, basic. If we can try to see if we can eliminate Valkyrie, that would be ideal. But that's going to be tough because, of course, Sif is going to continue to gain our taunt. Mm, that hurt a little bit, did it not? Oh, boy. Oh, we just lost Magneto. Now we will. We're going to clone, I guess, Seth, but we'll we'll be able to get back Magneto here. Thank goodness Dark Beast didn't die, right? All right. So this we're just going to do for damage. Um, we weren't able to clear off the buff off the Psylocke, though. So one character that's still dangerous that's here right now is Mighty Thor, right? Like she's going to do a lot of damage. But we're able to, to get back a little bit of health here. So that's that was super helpful. All right. Basic that hits multi adjacent targets. You know what I should have done in the beginning is at least still brought them together with Magneto's ult just so that just so that I could have gotten um more AOE damage, but then also I was trying to avoid AOE damage too. The Psylocke evades, the Psylocke evades are huge here. For those who say that Psylocke doesn't do anything for this team, I mean her just throwing up evades when they get below 50% is is enough for me. All right, guys. I mean, we we this we got this is a pretty decent size matchup for them just based on how big the team is itself. And this went pretty good, right? Like this went pretty good, guys. I'm I'm definitely very impressed. Um, here as Guardians is a meta is a meta defensive team. They're they they held their own. They're held their own right now. So very impressed, guys, with what I'm seeing so far. Now, last team we're gonna try here is gonna be the Underworld team. We're gonna try Underworld here now. I don't think this is going to go well <laughs> by any means. Underworld is annoying. Um, don't like it, but we're going to try this team here. 100 144K, um, Mr. Negative, 174K Taskmaster. We're going to try this team here. We're going to dive into it. Now, these numbers are skewed, right? So I'm not really looking at that. Yes, it is kind of a smaller team, but we know even small Underworld teams are tough teams to beat in Alliance War. So let's try. And it's not like our Dead Sea team is that much bigger than them anyway. So let's go into this matchup. Let's see how it goes. Um, Taskmaster is still going to be able to land his AOE blind, which is going to hurt a little bit. Uh, so let, but I think with the deflects and maybe some evades, we may be OK, although it's unavoidable. So I don't think it's going to matter. Let's see. Let's just see how the matchup, how, how we dive, how this matchup does. Right. All right. So like I said, I still think that we'll be able to get that turn one from Magneto which is going to be helpful against like Green Goblin and Mr. Negative. Although Mr. Negative is still going to mind control, right? Hey, he does give them offense up. So so this hit here from oh, that could that could be that could be problematic. Well, yeah, that that thing that thing still hits and hurts, man, doesn't it? 
if that was a bigger taskmaster, uh, we definitely lose like 100%. We absolutely lose. So we're, oh, uh, he has. Mm. All right, so we're just going to basic here. Because he does have the blind on him. Oh, well, he he would have cleared it. He would have cleared it, though, right? He would have cleared the blind. So we we did that wrong. We completely did that matchup wrong. We are going to do the special here. Obviously, we're going to miss. Oh, is that not revive? Is, do they have like a somebody has a uh, it was Green Goblin. Never mind. Oh. Oh, we, we are. We are not doing great here, guys. We are not doing great by any means. The blinds really killed us. Now, I feel like I want to try this again. Because like I said, I think if we had just not overthought that, we would have been able to get through it. So we're going we're gonna to jump out. We're going to come back in again. We're going to jump out. We're going to come back in again. And I think if we pl if we actually use the special, the special cl should clear could clear the blinds. And I think that will make this matchup a little bit easier. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's reset and let's come back in. All right. So we're jumping back in now. We're going to do this. We're going to do some of the same th things that we did already. Right. So AOE blind. OK, bye bye. You speed bar down. OK, cool. Um. Okay, not ideal because he's getting some bleeds here. Okay, he does his AOE. Hmm. Like I said, so doing doing the special actually helps us out a little bit, right? Because it, it, it clears. Okay. He does delete. He does delete her. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try to ult. We're gonna ult Kingpin here. Oh my god, wow. We're just getting wrecked. We're just getting absolutely wrecked here, guys. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna we're gonna AoE here. Now we do kill Taskmaster. Oh, we do kill Green Goblin. So we may get through this by the skin of our teeth, but I would not recommend anybody do this matchup in a real format here. I don't think this is going to go as well as you desire for it to go. Um, I'm happy that we were able to recover, but let's put let's be real. Like most likely in the scenario, Archangel is probably going to be the character that has the higher damage for you. Um, he's going to get a, he's going to get blinded. Um, or he's in, yeah, he's going to get, he's going to get a taunt thrown on him. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, yeah. So you, he'll get the taunt. He'll get all the damage from green goblin, you know, well, maybe with red star. So he might be able to deal with it. And then Psylocke would then come on the other end and then she'll be able to do her ult, which would then clear all those buffs, those negative effects. So maybe it actually be fine in the end, but listen, guys, that was it. That's all I wanted to test out here. Um, so most likely, it was, let's be real. Like most likely, they're gonna, they're gonna be able to take on, take on this team, Web Warriors. I think they'll be fine there. They'll probably be fine against some of these other, these other little sort of uh, meta, other sort of kind of meta teams, but not top, top, top meta teams like the normal team or Gamma or things like that. But from what I'm seeing so far, at least there's some versatility, right, in regards to being able to use them in Alliance War. So what are your thoughts? What do you think about this team? Um, so far, like I said, in Doom Raids, they're insane. They are insane in Doom Raids, but wanted to test out and see how they do in some other formats too. We'll probably do some, I wish the Cosmic Crucible already had its practice mode. It would be nice to be able to do some content on that as well, guys. Listen, appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so that you know when the videos do go live. And until next time, guys, y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe.